So the next step for the uh, bridge port here, now that I've got geometry, I'm, I'm satisfied there. Um, I want to, you know, I'm working on some uh, I'm working on some uh, cosmetic stuff on a few of the parts. Uh, not these yet, the knee, the saddle, or the column. But uh, the reason for that is I've gone now and I've got every this this machine never came with any lube system. Uh, there was uh, zert fittings in um, uh, all the locations and it was filled with grease. So we're going to make sure we avoid that. Um, you can see here just up here we got uh, fittings for everything. I've got uh, brass. I'm going to go hard pipe. And um, we've got a distribution block here that I think is probably one of the first things I want to mount. And I want to mount it here on this side. This is kind of the standard side to put this on. And, you know, these these two uh, fittings here will, will supply the two on this end. Uh, the ones at the far end here will supply this side of the saddle and the, uh, the lead screw, uh, two locations there. And then these middle three will go across to the other side to, to uh, feed that side of the uh, saddle. So that's my first real step here. I want to get this mounted, centered. Um, I'm going to have to make a few little standoffs to go up to this casting here. I want it good and solid so that, um, you know, as I attach lines, I want to have the lines so that they can come apart. Uh, if need be and uh, you know most of these things are usually on a flimsy bracket but I want something decent here so that's that's the first step in uh, putting together the lube system other than all the work that I did uh, going through um, and understanding how the lube system works calculating the bearing surfaces and stuff like that which um, I guess I, I could go through that just to kind of show what I found through the Bijur system uh, and uh, some of the uh, information that they share on the web when you're designing something like this. So that's where we're headed. So I've got the distribution block uh, set up on uh, just some spacers just to get it level. And uh, I've got it centered from back to here. Same on the front side. And I've got it parallel to the edge of the saddle. And um, I'm in the process of trying to figure out my best options for drilling this. Uh, I've... Uh, taking a transfer punch here and I've got a mark for both of the standoff holes I just haven't quite decided what I'm going to do to uh, drill and tap that at this point it's a little bit rough and uh, believe it or not actually needs a scraping repair the uh, dovetails uh, cracked inside this casting here but uh, on this uh, slope surface here it's going to get me a good start um, that I can use for the uh, quarter 20 tap uh, tap drill size so it's working <laughs> Your 
You're waiting for a tap to break, aren't you? So with a little bit of fine fitting, uh, I've got uh, some nice little uh, aluminum square tubing and I've filed the uh, angles and got a nice fit on both sides. Nice and sturdy, parallel, and uh, pretty happy with it at this point. Um, so now I can start fitting some lines to it. Pretty happy with that. That's good and solid. Those little standoffs look good. They're square, which matches this block. Kind of happy with that. That's going to be the flexible line there. So I think the first one I'm going to attempt is this line between here and here, which is uh, fairly small in length, and uh, I can hone in my uh, tube bending skills. Well, this may take a bit. That's the first scrap piece. Well, my success rate is 50% uh, at this point. This is uh, my second attempt at this line here. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the results on that. So, uh, on to the next one. Just making sure I'm uh, filing all these ends square. And then I'm uh, deburn to open up the uh, ID of that thing. And then, of course, each line I'm uh, taking the compressed air and making sure I'm blowing it out. I am going to take everything back off once I fit it all and uh, clean everything out again. So I've been working away at the lube lines here. I've got um, I got this one running across to the uh, tableway. I've got these two here into the uh, for the uh, lead screws to um, oil the nuts. Those are split nuts in there. Both sets are split nuts now, and. Um, so yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Um, I've tried to keep these ones here with a uh, with a high point so that as the pump pumps a shot through, then I get the oil to go over the top and uh, a little bit of a gravity feed to those because um, there won't be there shouldn't be any back pressure on these ones here. The other ones will see a little bit of pressure I think because of the the bearing surface. Um, so I'm going to turn my attention next to these front two on this corner and then I got two more to do down at the end over here yeah we're getting pretty close one issue I do need to solve here is this front corner these two fittings or the the holes for them are extremely close and so I get a couple options. I mean, I could come up with something and stack them. I kind of want to go this way to get down to the manifold. Um, one of the other things I could do is I'm just...
just kind of messing with how maybe just knock these corners off I know that inside of here there's a lot of material removed there's no room to take anything off of these flats and I still want a little bit of a flat for a wrench flat so I think that's what I'm gonna do and I just used a um, an old fitting here and I'm just gonna grab that in the in the chuck in the lathe and just kinda knock those edges there just the smallest amount required just so I can get it to spin in here so that worked out well and I was thinking as I was looking at this if I ever want to take one or the other fitting out I think I'm gonna do the same treatment on both of these yeah as if I have the fitting coming down here and if you take the fitting out you'll be able to get this out and the fittings down here if you take this one out you'll be able to get this one out So I've got all the lines finished now. These two here run to the uh, the nuts. We've got three going to the other side. This guy here, and then these two in the front. And then this is going to be fed. This manifold is going to be fed here. And so I've got a mount, a block down here, so that that can run back and forth. But at this point, um, With everything done here on the saddle, I can take the saddle and start doing uh, cosmetic work on uh, paint and finish on this. And then I got to get a couple of holes drilled down here for the manifold. I'm going to put a, uh, a, a bulkhead union on either side of the knee so I can get um, fittings here to go across to lube the other side. And so I want to drill those holes in this before I start doing any kind of uh, prep work on this on the knee